How do? How's it going? I don't really know why I'm doing this. I can't imagine why anybody would be interested in watching me drink beer. I mean, if you happen to want to know what my humble opinion of South Wold Blonde Beer is, watch on by all means. But it, it's a small insight, an amateur insight, into a beer brewed for Marks and Spencer. It says, oh, I'm going to have to get this. Why am I trying to read anything without my extra eyes? That's better. Why read with two eyes when you could read with four? Yeah, Southwold Blonde Beer from the Adnams Brewery. Oh, right, yeah. I think they brew something quite similar for themselves. I've had Adnams Brewery products before now. So no doubt I've tried something similar. Uh, right, well let's give it a go, eh? Oh, hang on. Hold your horses. Eager beaver. Let's find out a little bit more about it first, shall we? Yes. Created by Adam's Master Brewer, this pale yet full-flavoured beer is made using a blend of East Anglian malted barley and wheat, Bodicea and first gold hops from England and Nelson Sova hops from New Zealand, combined to create the subtle citrus notes and refreshing flavour. Now we can get it open. Let's give it a pour. Can give a bit of a bit of a helping hand there. Induce a bit of froth. Definitely quite golden. Gonna go go for some aroma. Ah, oh, I'm really not good at this. I I don't think that my sense of smell particularly, uh, was improved by having had COVID. I think in truth it's never quite been the same. And it wasn't that great to start with. <laughs> so I'm just going to go straight on to the flavour test. Oh. Uh, I'm going to give it another go. I don't want to judge it too early. I've used the Nelson Sova hops before now, and they are a little whiny. They do have a wine-like element to them. It's the most wine-like hop that I've ever worked with. I've not used Bodicea, but first gold, I do know, because it was quite early, quite early flower. I'm not sure, but the first gold, I think, is a type of goldings. Is it wet, wet bread goldings? Oh, oh, there's a lot to know about beer and brewing. And uh, oh, I've only been at it for about a decade. So I really, you, you've got to think of me as a, as a small boy. My knowledge and my skill base, like um, a preteen, really. So, yeah, I'm a late comer. I was a late developer in, uh, in brewing terms. I discovered the product early enough, <laughs> but uh, I, I can't be expected to know all the hops and all the malts, and the, or even if I knew them all, to be able to discern them one from another in an active pint of beer. Now, that's a tall order. There, there are 
some RDAs. They're very knowledgeable people. And people have been brewing for years and years and have probably evolved with the hops. Um, and that's not me. I know, I came crashing in, 11th hour, gate crashed the party, and then look at me, I'm doing beer reviews like I know it all. Hmm? I don't, I'm only doing this because I can't remember what I thought of all the beers I've drunk, and because it's a jolly good way of justifying having drunk them all. Uh, I was drinking them anyway, and um, <laughs> I'll enjoy watching them back. Or will I? I might. But in any event, it saves me having to remember anything. And that's an asset when you're drinking this much beer. So, yeah, on with the review. No, not my thing. There are much nicer gold nails, in my opinion. I think I would enjoy that a lot more with a neutral yeast. I'd be much more favourable in this review be more likely to drink more of it uh, and recommend that others do. Is that an odd choice of hops? Your coldings makes it quite it sort of earthy and Englishy. And then you've got Bodicea. I'm not sure, but I think it's another English hop. I'm not sure what it's like. And then you've got this New Zealand fancy new world hop to make it taste whiny. No, I'm not sure about the hops. There's not there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's the the dryness of the yeast, the twang of the yeast that's that's overwhelming it. It's a lager, it's a lager based thing with some slightly richer malt, Munich or something. And then maybe some sort of Bavarian yeast. And then the hops, I don't think, sit that well on top of it. If you were going to do that, why not use the hops that are known to go with it? You know, those noble hops or something of the like. Even Northern Brewer would be nice with that. A grassy, piney flavour. I like first cold hops. I like, oh, I don't know if I like. Uh, Odyssea, Boudica, Boudica, let's go with Boudica, um, not really my sort of thing, if it came to stick or twist, I'm going to twist, sadly, if you like lager this might be your sort of thing. It's like you get that whiny thing for an hour, It's alright, but it's not sort of fruity enough or grapefruity enough to, to be that. And then everything else is a bit savoury, so the wine thing doesn't really make sense. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not their best. Nope. And that's it. That's all I can really say about that. I thank you for your indulgence. Talks away.